Come on. I don't think they made it past that one. There goes another one. Damn it! You thought you were safe taking the long way around. Actually fails these machines. We met the man. He's like a cross between Nicolas Cage and uh, a bunch of other ridiculous actors. I love listening to him talk. Oh, this is your last chance, Ethan. Your last chance, Ethan. Dave Johnson here. Whatever. I care they got crushed. What's this machine even do? The only part of my body that takes injuries is my left hand. It's real unfortunate for Ethan. I missed something in that fucking room? Are you kidding me? Especially in the lights of those things, you know? That probably would shut them off. But also, I'm very low on bullets. I figured that would do it, but like, at the same time... That's four bullets! I have six bullets left in my gun! I need- I need the bullets! I really need the bullets. Sure, my hands are only visible part, but only the left hand I ever heal. They even parse when I'm walking past here. Ah, yes, remove the eyelids. Good. I mean, I care if someone stabs my dick. I love that whoop 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 music cue in there. Sorry, I thought I was coming up on a different door? Yeah, this door. Alright, we're back here now. Here you go. I got four shotgun shells. I got six pistol shots. We're... Parton on ammunition. Please. My kingdom for bullets. I beg of you. Game, hook me up. Money's good too. I, I like money. It's missing a cog. We got through this crumbling wall. Shotgun ammo? Oh. Oh, baby, thank you. Got a cylinder. Or that... Kidding me? The cylinder's not here? Of course, we gotta take apart the cylinder. Valuable combinable? Really? Huh. That's unexpected.
Very unexpected. Valuable, valuable. I now have stuff I could sell to the Duke. We could actually potentially make enough money to get a couple more upgrade parts and just straight up upgrades on the gun. Guns. Treasure? Treasure, please. Can't send a landmine? It makes a trophy for a monster truck competition. Yeah, that sounds about right. <clears throat> oh. Oh god. <clears throat> Mechanical soldier, soldat, version 1.0, fully grown, male corpse used. Roof heart and implanted cadao. Muscle stimulation via electric shock was successful. Brain dead, so no high cognitive ability. Only moves by destructive instinct and stops. Version 1.01. .01. Attach headgear to the cranium. Electrodes confirm stable brain waves. Experiment 1, like and fight. Was dismantled and eaten within three minutes. Issues with destructive and murderous capabilities. Version 1.1. .1. Replaced lower part of arm with drill. Not enough output for effective movement. Need life bodies, perhaps? 1.15. Implanted Kadao reactor in the chest. Output greatly increased. Experiment 2. Lichen fight. Destroyed three lichens in one minute. No results, but issues with reactor durability. May stop functioning if the reactor is destroyed. Johnny Utah territory. There's still treasure in this fucking room. What? Where? Drawer? No drawer. Under thing? The Kadao is a specimen we saw in a jar. It was like a weird little lumpy fetus thing. Factory map, lower levels. Not bad. There we go. There's blue. The Duke had the specimen we uh, saw of the Kadao. So the Duke has it currently. How much max for headroom have I seen? Hmm. A bunch of random episodes on cable TV when I was a younger kid. Like, obviously that was gonna happen. Cog mold. And then the mold just disappears. All right, another pass on this fucking room. I want the treasure. What is it? Where is it? What am I missing? <sighs> A 
Look at the ceiling. I'm not seeing anything so far. I wonder if it includes the hallway? If it includes the hallway... Then we're simply screwed. There's a lockpick. I mean, it's hard to say. Just gotta look around. Be awesome for a lockpick we found. All right, we gotta put the cog in. Heisenberg key, cog is over here, right? Not switch. Is cog this way? No. Was cog this way? That's Heisenberg's stupid door. That's the swingy room. Don't want to go back in there. Lockpick drawer. This way is cog, I believe. Making Pascati. Any kind of special sauce with it? Going. To God, to be her children. She locked us away in the Hello village. Is he, is he not coming? Forced to serve her. Can you even understand? Can you situation? even? Hey. How's it going, Audrey? I'm not like my siblings. I'm not even to be free. So I need power. I need enough power to destroy her. These are the fruits of my power. The strong will destroy the weak. That's the way of the world. You should have a very reductive attitude to have. Even. What a freak. <laughs> Honestly, like, Ethan could have probably talked his way through a lot of not having to do a lot of this. Like, yeah, let's bring my baby back to life, and then we'll figure out how to take down Miranda. Together, as friends. Okay, yeah. Oh. Alright. No, enemies are definitely a mystery in terms of how much damage they've taken sometimes. Listen, I'm gonna stand here until you notice that I'm still here. Are right, you coming? You gonna chase me now? Good, good. Yep, yep, yep. Keep coming. Are you fucking? Are you fucking kidding me? Is that your house over there or something? Fine, we'll just kill you the old-fashioned way. I don't give a shit. Very annoying. Oh, 
I couldn't just die by walking over my landmine. Would have been super, super. This is where all the fossils get made for the Resident Evil universe. Classically, this is where they all come from. Yeah, I'm also happy the beeping's over. Sniper rifle ammo, thank you. These guys have a very particular place you shoot them to do damage. Reminds me of the uh, invisible zombies in 4. Who had the parasites embedded in them. You had to use the thermal scope to see where the parasites were and shoot just the parasites. Otherwise they would just regen. They were huge pains. Yeah, the regenerator ones. This is the first time we had a zombie where it's like, I have a glowing thing you have to shoot. I'm like, that's kind of like the regenerators. They had little things you have to shoot. Okay. Not blue yet. I mean, is there still treasure in here? Ooh. Blue. Uh, let's make a little bit more ammo while we're here. Might as well make more heals. Where are we now? Hmm. See a bunch of money in there. That's exciting for me. Ah. Sir? Thank you, sir. Your son's so goddamn cute. I'm glad you like your son. <laughs> Be sad if you didn't. said his first word. Is your wife disappointed with Dada and Amama? Or is he just perhaps a fan of Dadaist art? And he's saying Dada. Not Dada. How, how me go there? We want to go there. Me, me want, me want mun. We want to go there. Just like those D words. Double drills. <laughs> Took out the knife instead of the shotgun. 
Ah, we're too low on shotgun. Is it on your fucking back? God damn it. Really know what I don't like, huh? You know what? Please hold, sir. Large mechanical heart. He was constantly like, craft ammo! What are you doing not crafting ammo? Listen, man. Keep on giving me things to shoot. It's hard. Keep running out of bullets. The game's not hard, it's just keeping keeping bullets in my inventory is hard. That that's the hard part. I really wanna figure out how to get into that fucking room. Maybe this thing? Can we interact with this in some way? No. It's the room with the money sacks. Yep, money sack, money sack. There's that fence there. What else is in here? Is it a vent system we're gonna be using to get in there? Oh, oh, wait, 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 does not. Maybe there's a way over it. I hope this wasn't a lure an enemy in here situation. Hmm. I suppose that's possible. Starting to look more than just possible, starting to look likely that we were supposed to do that. Oh, what am I missing out on? Magnum rounds? Bashing the glowy bits? Did I miss glowy bits around this fence? Talk about these glowy bits? Did that do anything for me? Doesn't look like the fence went down. Yeah, we're not gonna waste bullets. Everything's getting the owie stick today. The yowie stick. Guess we could take a quick peek and see if maybe the other side. Oh wait, we got more here. That's less of a fix and more of a make a new command. Come on! I want in! I still always call them Ibo sticks. Yowie sticks. I think we could have used this to, like, stun the drill guys. I think that's what that is. Like, they're walking by, you shoot that, it makes a surge of electricity around. Incapacitates them a little bit. No, I think we may have had to, like, lure a drill guy in here to have him knock this down. I mean, I'm disappointed to leave two sacks of cash and some magnum ammo behind. Also possible it wasn't magnum ammo, it could have been sniper rifle ammo. But regardless, like leaving good stuff behind there. Now, usually there's unlimited spawns for enemies you have to use for environmental things like that. There might just be like a thing in there I'm not seeing or understanding.
something to let me go up and over. Or to knock down the gates. Good moan, good moan. What, what is this space for? No items. Just a weird little area. Alright, run an elevator down. You know what? I mean, I, I could throw a pipe bomb and see if uh, maybe that takes it down. I really want that mun. Really, it's less about the mun and more I really want that, uh... I want that bullet. Like, it looks like we're supposed to climb up and over, but there's no pull or push command on this. That 100% won't work. Yeah, I know it won't. What if... Ah, oh, there we go. He was the key. God damn it. Back up. Oh, it was Magnum Ammo. I guess I'm able to identify Magnum Ammo from far away now. That still wasn't all the treasure. Oh, good. There's more sacks on the floor. Why can't I pick up this meat? I broke another rule of visual cues? What's the rule? What, what did it do? I mean, obviously it took me a little bit to figure it out, but... Thinking that enemy on table could be shot to wake it up to have it break the thing eventually clicked in my head. So I would... I'd give that a pass, but it could have been more obvious. But again, optional thing, so... Not a big deal. Shooting through a chain link fence is plausible. Yeah, yep, yep. Trying to decide if I want to heal. I can take one more hit before I really need to. I can see that. Like, just something to make it a little bit more clear. They're like, yeah, yeah. Like a little, little hole there. Just a cue. I could probably get a bullet through there. I'm guessing there's more drill friends because we got more of these grates here. Let's test my theory. Very tested. Nice. The crusher? Nothing I noticed that was crusher like. Like Barbara Crusher? Wesley Crusher? Hopefully not a Wesley Crusher. You again? <laughs> Fan friends back. Good thing the door closed on its own behind you. Never 
Beverly, yes, yeah, sorry, Beverly. I'm not good with names. Beverly Crusher, you nit. It's been a little while. My picked up. Valley by Valley Valley. Only one part so far. Ethan, Ethan, Ethan. It's been like three months. Oh, yeah, but I'm not going with names. I got at least some rust to scrap for future, right? That's what you want to be when you're a kid? Nice. Love that this guy just doesn't mind being moved around. Welcome, Ethan. Have I got some treasure for you? I got a yellow quartz. Got th three poly crystal skulls, six crystal mechanical hearts, two large mechanical hearts. And I'm gonna hold on to this until I can combine it. Hard times, Ethan. I've gotten some new stock. You could say that. You could say it's been hard times. All right, we got the Magnum upgrade. It's the only other gun part we could buy. Might be nice to have, it is very expensive. It's like almost all of my money. Oh, but also extra baggage. Don't even need it anymore. Delighted to. That's definitely step one, is increase the damage output of my pistol. Ammo capacity would be nice. Rate of fire, ammo capacity. Clean and ammo capacity. Aha. She's not coming back for Picard Seasons 2 or 3. <laughs> Troy definitely suffered so from some poor writing in a number of episodes. Please definitely, definitely. Ah, trying to think. Going down doesn't have too much for me. Upsidies. Got a long way to go. So I found the marble. I gotta find that. Box. Don't be so horror. Just to make sure people know my level of knowledge when it comes to Star Trek, only really see the next generation. Miranda thinks we're nothing but children. Oh, she doesn't care for us? No. She's long lost all her humanity. I must destroy her. I don't give a shit about your family drama. Again, we could have worked together. Probably would have been better for Ethan, even, to just play on this guy's needs and wants. Like, yeah, let's bring my baby back to life first. Like, that should have been step one, is let's work together on that. Then decide. How's it going, debuff? Cool. 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 Cool.
How's your stream to buff? I think they noticed me. Oh. Fine. This is what you want? Wow. Back up. So low on bullets. Glad you're doing good, debuff. Went to hard recruit women and people of color for NASA after Star Trek. Beats every fictitious depiction of women in space forever. <laughs> nice. Alright, we got a crawl space. There's something in here I didn't pick up. Although it could be down that side tunnel. That wasn't it. I have so many questions that I still haven't gotten answers for in here yet. What's with the crystals? How? What is Miranda? I guess we're going to have another stream of Resident Evil. We're definitely not going to finish this tonight. I do need to watch more Star Trek. I'll never deny that. That's just fact. I do need to watch more Star Trek. <coughs> Still not blue, huh? Ammo. Ammo, you're hurting me. Gary Fisher is also great. Alright, this is like, if ever there was going to be a sparkly bit in the wall, it's in a mine where people are mining. So I'm largely looking at the ceiling here. Just one little backtracky bit here. Look for, for missing treasure. This hallway also counts, huh? Miranda went to Burning Man once, so it's just like healing crystals. That combined with like, you know, bio weapons. That's the future. Crystal healing bio weapons. All makes perfect sense. All right, it was pretty thorough down there. There you are. Still not blue. Huh. So bad at noticing those bird cages. Alright, let's see. Spots where they were mining. Interest levels waning and finding less sparkly. Possible there's another floor or something. You never fucking know. Oh, oh, now I've opened the chest over here. Of course, I didn't pick up the item that was in it. Oh, there we go. Thank God, blue. Ethan, Ethan, Ethan. Down we go. Alright. Another blow up of a wall. Hut!
Just a bunch of crystals. Nice. Always blue, so I can just hoof it. The grinder shaft. Ah, grinder, you always come back. I'm very interested in turning that off as soon as possible. Seems like a very inefficient way to do things. Yeah, there's a lot more weapon variety and enemy variety in this compared to 7. There's no way for me to angle to shoot that thing right now. I have to get around to the outside edge. Almost. Almost. Also enjoyed at the start of the game, there's like books and stuff and a conversation, like a nice collection of environmental set pieces that say Ethan's been learning how to use guns and then like yeah all that military training with Chris it's like oh that's nice jetpack zombies jetpack jet zombies am I out of landmines oh man Insides, all of my insides. Who's fucking using those? Oh, they can get around you very efficiently. Stupid arm! Those were some scary additions to the enemy repertoire. Pretty. Okay. Moisturize, moisturize! My hands, they're getting so clammy. Whew, okay. Let's continue going. One thing that's a little, like, funny at this point is 
what's Ethan's goal here? Like, we came here because the dude's like, yeah, come on down, I'll tell you how to fix your baby. And instead of being like, yes, let's fix my baby, you're like, fuck you, you want to use my baby as a weapon. Which, you know, you save that for after he fixes your baby. You, you lie to the lunatic and say yes, so he fixes your baby then, and only then. Do you move on? That's true, we didn't get pushed into a pit. We're probably just trying to get out of here. Factory map, upper levels. Sold out enhance, sold enhancement, sold out jet. Attached a jet and head stabilizers to a sold out. Greatly improved mobility. I'm just going more and more surfer dude with this guy. Experiments proved limited flight capabilities. No long distance flight, but now possible to navigate rugged terrain. Sold out enhancement, soldier panzer. Attached aluminum ally shielding to a soldat to protect chest reactor and exposed flesh. Experimentation proves he is invincible against regular firearms. Armor doesn't hold up against strong blasts. Fur development needed. Yeah, I ne- like... I don't often get the, like, yelling at the screen, YOU IDIOT! But, like, that one was so over-the-top obvious. It's like, here's a big pit, there's something scary in the pit, I'm gonna put a chair on the pit, pair, like, precipice of the pit. Here, sit in this chair. No. Just, no. I won't sit there. Move the chair first. I'm assuming this is secret, because the stairwell was, like, the right place to go? That's the hope, at least. And pattern, nice. Ball molds. Oh, yeah. No, it wasn't a secret. You are supposed to see it through the wall. Here, I was all excited for something that wasn't progression. It's a, a dumb black hole. Just sucks in intelligence. He did, he said fuck you to Heisenberg, and it's like... The smart thing to do is to play along just until you get what you want. Like, fuck it, this guy wants to get rid of this, the crazy scary lady? Sure, I'll help with that. Whatevs. He knows how to fix the baby, that's like, more important. I was kind of hoping Ethan would lose yet another hand there. Shit, that was Kang, close. what's up? <sighs> How you doing, Kang? We meet again, goat. Because he's dunked on all the other bosses. It's fair, like, he it would have some confidence at this point. But also, like, the amount of pain he goes through and suffering he experiences, you would think he would still have the general... If there's a way to do this without that. I mean, he's a nobody, though I am good, too. <laughs> Glad you're doing good, King. Oh yeah, I'm not saying it's a problem that I don't identify with his choices. It's more of like... It's a horror thing, and horror movies are really good at getting you to go into that headspace of Why would you do that? Come on! You know? Like, I think, like, the crux of my argument is if your goal is to have the shortest distance between you and having your baby not be in four separate jars. Like, you'd make the choices that are the most expedient toward making your baby not in four separate jars. 
And having Heisenberg put your baby back together, that's that's the quick way to do it. Seems like a smart choice. Soon, she'll start her ceremony with your rose. rose. If that happens, it's all over. For your kid. And for the whole village. But don't worry. I'll stop it. I'll use Rose to kill Miranda. <laughs> I'll stop it. <laughs> Poor Papa. You're the only one who doesn't see your kid's power. You have reoccurring nightmares of four... <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Horrible monsters uh, taking you apart and using you as a weapon? Heisenberg threw us into a murder trap because we said fuck you, Heisenberg, when he offered to work together with us. Uh, my plan is to make a mold for my key and then hide the mold. Yeah, I'm curious, like, how's the baby work as a weapon? Is it a scanner's thing? Will the baby get a nosebleed and then <laughs> her head's gonna explode? I love talking about this, so I'm going to say it again. In the movie Scanners, that head exploding, that prop was filled with a bunch of fake blood. Plopped on the, the, the chair, just sitting there, and then they literally shot it with an actual shotgun from behind. And that's how they did the exploding head effect in Scanners, and I, I absolutely love that's how they did it. It makes me giggle every time I think about it.